Hello everybody, uh, my name is Paula Blakemore, uh, I'm Vice Principal of the Sycamore College and I'm delighted to welcome you to our virtual assembly today. I'm going to give you a little bit of information about the college and what sets us apart from schools with sick forms. Um, and up on the, the slide now is some indication of why I would urge you to choose to come to the Sick Form College. Um, our teaching is fantastic because all our teachers do is teach level three, which is A11 BTEC. So they're not teaching year seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, one minute. They're constantly teaching your year group and they are experts in their field. Many of them are examiners um, and so they know the specification as well as the contents of their subject. You will have a brilliant experience at this college because we model ourselves on a kind of mini university feel. So this is a really good transition for you to move from school to us and then on to university. And all our students say that having made the transition to us, it's very, very easy when they go off to uni. You also have a vast amount of choice at this college. There's over 40 different subjects that you can choose um, and you can choose them in any combination. Unlike in a school sick form where they tend to be narrow option blocks and so your choices are restricted. And then of course as our success, we are the most successful sick form college um, in the Northwest and indeed we've been uh, sick form college of the year nationally um, very recently. We've won a raft of accolades for the teaching and for the support that we give you at this college. So we're really keen for you to come to our open evenings, to come to our taster events and find out a little bit more about what the college is all about. So this is what we teach. We teach A-levels, we teach B-techs and we also are introducing T-levels from next year. So if you are clear on the career pathway that you want to go down in terms of science or health and social care, then that's something you might want to explore with us. But we have a vast range of A-levels, um, including A-levels which will be wholly new to you, law and psychology, which are fantastic subjects, also environmental science, um, which is exceptionally popular. So do come and explore our website, see the wealth um, of choices that are available to you, and then come and meet us at our open evening. So just to give you a little sense about what the college is all about, We've got um, over 1,450 students, all your age, all 16 plus, so you are um, getting away from all the year 7, 8, 9, 10, 11s. Um, we are specialists in the work that we do and that's really, really important because it means we can give you the maximum support to help you realise your potential and do the best that you possibly can. And we're outstanding across the board um, in terms of our Ofsted rating. Continent at the top of the league tables, which is important for you because you know you're in safe hands. When you come to us, when you work the way we will teach you to work, I promise you, you'll do really, really well. So students come to us from over 60 high schools across the Northwest and Liverpool and Cheshire. And I just want to give you an idea of where they come from. Um, they come to us from Neston High School, um, from Ellesmere Port High School, everywhere all over the world. So I'm going to bring Abby in first, who's one of our head students, um, Abby Williams. Uh, Abby came to us from Upton um, a couple of years ago. So Abby, what made you make, make the move to come to a sixth form college from a school sixth form? So essentially my sixth form was really insular. Um, you didn't get much choice in terms of subjects. You were restricted by that. If they clashed, you couldn't do which subject you wanted to. And just coming to the open evening, I knew it was a place where people could become themselves a lot more and enjoy the subjects really. Okay, and what subjects are you doing Abby? So I do psychology, biology and English literature. Um, psychology is brand new to me, I didn't study it at GCSE level so it was really interesting to start that. And you do psychology at university, is that your plan? Yeah, I'm, I'm applying for psychology at Cambridge University so that's obviously been provided with a lot of help from the staff at college as well. So really interesting. Okay, wonderful. Great. Thanks, Abby. Uh, we're going to call Jack in as well next because Jack's going to talk to you about our Settling In programme for new students. Now, Jack uh, is also our, our head student. He's come to us from Neston. So tell us a little bit about why you made the decision to come when your school had a sick form, Jack. Yeah, I mean, as Abby said before, the appeal to me was the sort of range of subjects we have, but also all the support systems that we have in place. So obviously the exceptional teaching with all teachers specialising in your study levels then all the tutors in the university application support that we have going on um, and just the programmes that we have set up as well to support new students such as the Friday events programme. Okay, Jack has set up a really good programme with his ambassador team to offer support to new students coming in so tell us a little bit about that Jack and how you help the new students settle in when they join. So I, I talk about the Friday events programme first of all, that's a four week programme that we've run to help students settle in and we're doing a range of different activities and courses. We have something called the Friday Fun Day which is like um, so similar to University Freshers Fair almost, where we have fun activities going on in the sports hall and various other things to help you meet you 
students aren't on your courses and just set on quickly. I think it's worked quite well. We've also set up the um, conference space, which is a first year area to go in your freeze to do work and meet people when you when you haven't got anything to do in your freeze, that sort of thing. So how quickly did you settle in? Have you just stuck with your friendship group from Nesson or have you made more friends? No, I, I get the college bus and it was really easy to meet people just from the first day, just talking on the college bus, as well as being on your lessons and on your freeze when you're in the hub and you're in 8SQ. That's one of our big open spaces where everyone goes and has lunch and you can chat and meet all sorts of new people there as well. Wonderful. Okay, I mean, that's really important because we want this to be the best two years of your life so far. We want you to have a brilliant time when you're here. So we do lay on a lot of extracurricular support. It's a massive range of clubs and societies that we encourage you to join because that helps you make friends and it helps you develop the skills that you'll need to make the next transition onto uni. Thanks, Jack. Okay, so a little bit more information. We have buses that come to us from all over um, the, flip back to that slide so you can see it. We've got buses that come from all over the Wirral. Um, these are subsidised college bus services um, and it's cheap and easy for you to get to college. Um, so we urge you to investigate that and not to feel that the college is out of reach for you potentially if you are um, in Ellesmere Port or, or some of those um, further reaching areas out here. So um, these are our core values um, and we encourage you all, and I'm going to encourage you now, to be positive and to be ambitious. You really need to be working hard for your GCSEs now, help you get the best possible grades and then you need to be looking at the courses you want to study with us. Our basic entry criteria is three fours and two fives at GCSE including maths and English. Some courses, the maths and the sciences, have slightly higher entry criteria so you need to look out for those. Um, but do be ambitious um, in your goals and, and look to come to the best sixth form college in the northwest. So we work from the basis that every single one of you can succeed. Um, we don't buy into the myth that some students are talented and some are not. What we believe in is that when you come here it's a completely fresh start for you, you'll get fantastic teaching and you will succeed on the basis of your own hard work and all the support that we put in place for you. So have a look at the college and what it can offer you and I'm sure that you will find that we are the, the best possible place for you to come for your sick form studies. Now our next open evening is on the 25th of November um, and we've then got another one on the 27th of January. Um, we are um, selling out of tickets fast for both these events, so please book online, reserve your ticket, get your place sorted, uh, and then come to the college and have a look. Very, very easy to apply for a place too. Um, and if you like the look of us um, when you've looked online, then I'd urge you to make an early application because we're oversubscribed every year um, and we don't like to turn anybody down. So the sooner you get your, your application in, the sooner we can get you in for an interview and to help you secure your place. The interview process is really, really easy. It's nothing to worry about at all. You literally come in and talk to one of our tutors. They will guide you through the process, make sure you're on the right choice of subjects for you, depending on the career path you want to go to, um, and then we'll get you an offer out very, very quickly. So very, very straightforward process. And then finally, I just want to tell you a little bit about our college community, because we do have lots of dogs um, running around the college. We've got Toffee who is uh, one of our therapy dogs. We've got Teddy, who's the principal's dog. Um, and we've got Alfie, who does a lot of work with our designated mental health leads. So it's lovely to have dogs around the college. It kind of gives a nice vibe to the college when you're walking around. Um, and the dogs are as much a part of our college community as our staff and students. And we are really, really keen for you to be part of our college community too. So follow us on social media learn more about the college i'm sure you'll find it's exactly the environment that you want to be in for the next two years of your study we are really really looking forward to welcoming you at the college so try and come along to our open evening if you can't don't worry get an application in anyway um, and we will keep you posted on everything that we're doing in terms of social media but we really hope to see you at that open evening thanks everybody and it's goodbye from me